Coming up on this edition of Able Den on Air, we talk about the recent Japanese earthquake and emergency preparedness when it comes to situations like that. All that and much more when Able Den on Air starts right now. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Den On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Great, welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of all people with abilities. And we're talking about the recent Japanese earthquake that happened in the beginning of January. Um, before we do that, let's get uh, let's uh, thank our 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 um, uh, partners, um, the association for the um, the association. For the Blind Vermont, the Division for the Blind Vermont, and many, many, many others. Um, now let's get to the topic at hand, uh, which uh, comes to us from uh, Japan. Um, and um, Reuters, by the way, is a uh, news organization. You can go to www.reuters.com um, forward slash world Japanese magnitude. Um, they had a powerful earthquake, um, which um, it, powerful earthquake rocks Japan. Nearly 100,000 residents ordered to vac evacuate. So um, there, was, there was a major tsunami uh, warning that was reduced to an advisory. Scores of houses were destroyed. Tens of thousands of homes were, were out power um, overnight during that time. One man was reported uh, dead um, after building collapsed. Uh, a powerful earthquake struck central Japan on uh, Monday the 1st. Uh, killing at least one person, destroying buildings, and knocking out powers to tens of thousands of homes, um, uh, and prompting residents. I'm wondering if Vermont ever had an earthquake. We can find that out at some other point. Um, uh, prompting residents uh, in uh, coastal areas 
fleeing to higher ground. The quake was a preliminary magnitude of 7.6 that triggered waves about one meter long in Japan's west coast and neighboring South Korea. the uh, Japan, uh, the Japan uh, Weather Agency, uh, the JMA, which is the uh, the, the meteorological uh, agency, uh, initially issued a major tsunami warning since um, since the March. Um, 2011 earthquake and tsunami that struck northeast Japan, killing 20,000 people. For for um, Ishikawa uh, Prefecture, uh, it was cut down to an advisory. It was a strong quake in the region within four decades, um, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Houses were destroyed, a fire broke out, and uh, personnel was dispatched to help uh, with um, with the rescue operations. And government, the government spokesman, government spokesperson, uh, uh, Yoshima, uh, 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 I can't pronounce the name, uh, uh, Yoshima. Um, a high and shy told reporters. Now I got it. So uh, I apologize if I uh, if I messed up someone's name. An elderly man was pronounced dead after a building fell down in Shika Town, Oshawa, uh, and a broadcaster reporter um, citing local police. Um, so um, now local media footage. From the from the um, event from the catastrophic event showed a building collapse and a plume of dust in the city of of Suzu and a large crack in the road uh, where panic onlookers um, clutched their children and you know parents uh, clutched their children. Now, in terms of um, I'm looking up an earthquake graph so uh, you guys can see what it looks like. So let's go to here. If you can see this graph, <clears throat> the number of earthquakes that happened um, in Japan. So this comes from uh, a a number uh, website, www.statistudent.com. Uh, annual number of earthquakes that uh, occurred in Japan from 2010 to 2024. As you can see from the graph, the bigger the number, um, um, by the way, the graph is showing on the screen. So the bigger the number, the the uh, for those that with special needs that have a problem with numbers or a problem with math. So um, the bigger the number, the more earthquakes. The smaller the number, um, the less earthquakes. So in 2010, Japan had one earthquake. 2011. Uh, as you can see by the graph, they had 34 earthquakes or tremors. 2012, 10, 10 earthquakes. 2013, 7 earthquakes. 2014, 6 earthquakes. Uh, 2015, 7 earthquakes. 2016, 22 earthquakes. 2000. 17, six earthquakes. 2018, this is for people who have problems understanding numbers. 2018, five earthquakes. 2019, five earthquakes. 2020, 
four earthquakes, 2021, seven earthquakes, 2022, eight earthquakes. It's a little big, but small. 2023, six earthquakes, and 2024, two so far. Uh, the number of, um, so in 2023, Japan experienced six earthquakes, and the Japan Weather Service, JMA, magnitude five or more. Um, now, um, there's a difference between an earthquake and national disaster, but uh, an earthquake can um, be part of a natural disaster. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, going down here, um, so let's go to the graph for natural disasters so we can tell you the difference. Climate and weather. Okay, so as you can see, the graph, oh, I can't, I, I can't access that, I gotta go back, it won't let me access. Um, it, it, uh, so there's a difference between a natural disaster and an earthquake. Well, an earthquake can be considered, that's with the fault line, the, the uh, fault line is where the ground separates. Um, so let's um, go into that, and I can um, define what a fault line is an earthquake, so you can understand it. So a fault line for earthquakes is where a fracture or zone or fracture between the blocks of rock um, um, or, or <clears throat> a fault allows the blocks to move relative to each other. This movement can, uh, may occur rapidly in the form of an earthquake or may occur slowly in the form of a creep. So let me, um, here, so uh, the, the bigger the crack, as you can see here, is where, um, so the bigger the crack, the bigger the earthquake, the smaller the crack, the smaller the earthquake. Basically, that, that's what the fault is. So according to USGS.gov, what is the fault and what is the different types? Um, so for more information on earthquakes and faults, you can go to www.usgs.gov. A fault is a fracture or a zone of fractures between two blocks of rock. Fault, <clears throat> faults um, allow the blocks to move relative to each other. This movement may occur in the form of an earthquake, again, and may occur slowly in the form of a creep. Faults um, may range between the length of a few millimeters to a few thousand kilometers. Uh, most faults um, produce repeated displacements or geologic time. Um, during an earthquake, the rock on one side of the fault suddenly slips with the respect to others. The fault surface can be um, horizontal or vertical in some arbitrary angle in between. Um, earth scientists use the, uh, the angle of a fault <clears throat> depending um, on the surface, known as a dip. Um, it dips down uh, in the direction or slip along the fault and classy faults. <clears throat> faults uh, which move in the direction of a dip or plane 
a dip lane or dip or slip faults and describe either as a normal or, or, re or reverse thrust, um, depending on their motion. Faults uh, which are horizontally and known as strike or slip faults are classified on either um, right or lateral left. Um, faults which show dip and slip and strike slip motion are known as oblique slip faults. Um, this is a little bit difficult to understand, but um, those that want to find out more about earthquakes and faults, you can go to www.usgs.gov um, slash what is a fault and, you know, how does it deal with um, earthquakes. Uh, now, if you are in California, let me go down here. We don't need that. Uh, if you're in California, let's say, um, then uh, California gets a lot of um, earthquakes. So I can go to this picture here and show it. Um, <coughs> Oh, so here on this part of the website, you can see the different types of faults and the different types of earthquakes here, if you're interested in that. Um, so basically, uh, I'm also going to uh, give you guys advice on what to do in case of an earthquake. Really quick, go down here. Sorry. Um, earth, wait, um, uh, so if you're in the middle of an earthquake, uh, and you need tips on what to do um, in case of an earthquake. But this, this is important because you never know when uh, um, one can happen. I, I know Vermont probably hasn't had an earthquake in years, if Vermont has ever had one. Uh, but um, before an earthquake, I de this is coming from the uh, a website called Dis defydisaster.org, www.defydisaster.org um, forward slash preparedness for, for earthquakes. Um, before an earthquake, identify hazards and secure movable items, furniture, so on and so forth. Uh, you can go to www.ready.gov and make a plan. Uh, Create a disaster plan. To learn more about creating an emergency plan, you can go to www.ready.gov, make a plan. Um, organize disaster supplies. Minimize financial hardship by organizing insurance documents. Um, during an earthquake, drop, cover, and hold on. Um, if possible, Improve safety for others. After an earthquake, check for gas and water leaks, broken electrical wiring, or sewage lines. Stay away from drowned power lines and warn others to stay away. Avoid gas. Do not attempt. Please, if you are um, disabled, uh, or special needs, do not attempt, um, do not attempt to relight the gas pilot unless your gas line has been inspected. Call the gas company for assistance. Um, cooperate 
with public safety officials and follow instructions that they are trained to ensure uh, to ensure safety. Avoid driving if possible. Um, be prepared for aftershocks. Stay calm and help notify others if you evacuate and where you can be found. For business operations after earthquake, please visit your local, it says Los Angeles here, uh, but it, please visit your local um, business office wherever you are in Vermont. Uh, please ignore the Los Angeles County um, situation here. Um, this is just a really important website called defydisaster.org, uh, and you can, um, but um, there's information here on floods, power outages, wildfires. Um, matter of fact, let me look at uh, here. Um, if in Vermont you suffer a power outage, Let me get Green Mountain Power. Whoops. So if you're in Vermont and you suffer a power outage, yeah, let's go to that. There's a big map here, Green Mountain Power, which is www.greenmountainpower.com. Um, now, recently we had uh, storms and um, all of that stuff here, here in Vermont. Storms, down trees, so on and so forth. So um, there's a big map here of uh, Vermont, as you guys can see. Uh, on the map here on your screen. Um, so New Hampshire is next to us. Vermont is here in the middle, um, so on and so forth. And New York is to this side. So um, as you can see in, in the map. So according, and it was updated uh, at 12.22 PM uh, today. Um, so, so far, 37. Com uh, customers are without power. There are eight active incidents and eight towns affected. Uh, so um, if you have a down tree, down power line, please don't touch. Uh, during disasters, don't touch a down power line. Don't touch um, anything of um, a live wire, anything of that nature. We don't want anyone electrocuted. Um, so uh, in this episode, we talked about Japan and earthquakes and what to do. But it's also really um, dealing with disasters. So we must not um, touch a down power line. Uh, we don't want anyone uh, watching uh, Ableton on air. Uh, to uh, be in the hospital, um, and if you if you encounter a down power line uh, during a disaster, uh, please call nine one one immediately uh, when you're dealing with that. Um, and um, you know, if you suffer electric shock, uh, please. Uh, go to and uh, call 911 or um, Vermont 211 should also be giving you some information, but uh, 911. Oh, and um, do not call 911 unless it's an emergency, but during these times, um, there are a lot of emergencies. Uh, please take care of yourself. Uh, watch out during uh, disasters. Uh, if you have... Um, any disaster that you need help with, go to also, um, it's not a, not here up on screen, but go to www.redcross.org, 
That is www.redcross.org. And if you have problems with uh, power in Vermont, you can go to uh, greenmountainpower.com. That's greenmountainpower.com, and they will make sure that you um, have power during these times of disasters in Vermont. I'm Lauren Seiler. Um, we uh, must pray for those in Japan who have dealt with this uh, earthquake and other disasters. Um, I'm Lauren Seiler. My wife is not here today due to being in rehab. Uh, we must pray for her and uh, pray how good she's doing. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Abel de Nonair has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.